F and I manages nothing. I just want to take a moment and share with you my take on an F and I menu presentation. And I just want to kind of like sit here and just explain to you how I explain the products or how I coach on explaining the products to a customer to make it relevant, to make it simple, to make it easy to understand. Okay. The bottom line here is that all your products they do one thing: they pay for something. They pay for key replacement. They pay for tire and wheel replacement or repair. They pay the difference between insurance company settlement and what you owe to the bank. I always do that. Because it's such a habit. The only thing that really protects the vehicle is fabric and paint treatment. So I wanted to kind of give you an idea of how to present the products, every product, to every customer, every single time. And remember, there's gonna be times when the lender is gonna limit you to an LTV or the back end products that you can sell, you may be limited on. But don't give up. Don't let someone else dictate your destiny or let the lender dictate your destiny. Allow the customer to make the choice by giving them an option to get into the products, even though you're limited to the LTV or what the bank will allow you on back and products. So if you look at the customer and say, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, we got an approval at the bank. It was kind of difficult, okay, based on your credit, as I discussed with you earlier, but we did get an approval and the lender is willing to finance on track. There's other options to enhance your ownership experience. I'd like to share those options with you. And then once you decide what's most important to you, we'll figure out a way to get into them. How's that sound? All right. So you kind of want to use that type of language with the customer that may, you know, that you have a limited LTV. So the point I'm trying to make here is, Make sure that you give that 300 rule. You know, you use that 300 rule 100% of the products, 100% of the customer, 100% of the time. So develop some type of transition statement for the times that you're limited to the LTV. But traditionally, Nick, um, normally, you probably just go into a presentation. I always like to start my presentation by explaining to the customer that they can take delivery of the vehicle at the figures they agreed to on the showroom floor. And I tell them that may not necessarily be the best option for them. They have other options that are available to them. Make sure that you share with them that these are options that are available to them. You don't want to say that we offer for all these options and I put together a number of options. The fact is that word available is the trigger that grabs their attention. You have a number of options that are available and then another trigger word would be enhance. So you have a number of options available to enhance your ownership or your lease experience. That's how I would start the presentation. So once again, get into the presentation to simply say, this is the base payment, this is the terms, this is the money down. I want you to know you can take delivery of the vehicle at these figures. That may not necessarily be the best option for you. There's other options that are available to you. My job is to review them with you, may I? So here's a number of options to enhance your ownership experience. Now, whether you use one, two, three, or four columns really doesn't matter at this point. I like to say the first column, which exposes all the products individually, even though I have a bundle, I want to se separate that first column so that I can explain every product individually. This is called the worry-free column. I like to call the first column the worry-free. And then if I go to the second column, I like to call it the practical option. And I set the practical option of the second column up and I explain to them, these are the things that are most likely to happen during the course of your lease or ownership. So number one, first call. Let's get right back into it. Remember, set the tone right, explain to the customer, but not in much detail that they can take the delivery of the vehicle at the figures they agree to. That may not be the best option for you. There's other options that are available to you to enhance your ownership experience. My job is to review them with you, may I? That may I is gonna allow you to move forward because very few people will say, no, you can't when you are very polite, may I? So may I explain these options to you? Customer says yes, okay. So I like to call this first call the worry free call. The reason I call it the worry free column because it has every option that's available to you, beginning with a vehicle service contract. And here's the key it pays for mechanical and electrical breakdowns. So, the vehicle service contract, a service agreement, will pay for mechanical and electrical breakdowns for five years, 100,000 miles. It also will pay for a rental car, towing, and roadside assistance, and trip interruption should be away from home. There is a small $100 deductible. That's how you explain the vehicle service contract. The tire and wheel program pays for damage to your tires and wheels when damage by a road hazard and explain what a road hazard is. A road hazard could be anything from a pothole to glass to a nail to something falling out of a truck. It'll pay to have the tire repaired or replaced if it's unrepairable. In six state, if the tire is unable to seal air around the rim, they'll replace the rim. Some of these programs has cosmetic damage or repair rims. So for five years, this will pay for damage to your tires and wheels when damaged by a road hazard. And a road hazard is anything from a pothole to a nail on the road. Then you have the key replacement. The key replacement will pay to have your keys repaired, reprogrammed, or repaired place should they ever become lost stolen or broken it's that simple it pays for and then the maintenance is set up for every 5,000 miles as you mentioned me earlier like to change the oil every 5,000 miles first oil changes are on us or on the manufacturer after that every 5,000 miles bring it back to any one of our dealerships in the area we'll do an oil change filter change top off the fluid and do a 20 point vehicle inspection prepaid maintenance and then get right into the fabric and paint the only thing that protects the vehicle is fabric
fabric of paint. The fabric and paint treatment, once applied, will protect the interior and exterior against the elements. Acid rain, bird droppings, tree sap. It would also pay to have minor rips, tears, or burns in the interior repaired. And then there's a painless dent removal, which pays to have a technician with specialized tools to come out to your home or office, and they'll pay them to repair those minor things at dent. You don't have to worry about a body shop. Then you get into the financial coverages, gap, credit life and disability, and theft. So theft will pay you a benefit if your vehicle's ever stolen or not recovered or deemed a total theft due to a theft. They'll pay you up to $2,500 or whatever the monetary benefit is to do whatever you want to with it or to buy another car. Remember, it's always them. They will pay, not you, not your dealership. They, the administrator of the contract. And then you get into the guaranteed asset protection. The guaranteed asset protection pay the difference between your insurance company settlement and what you owe to the bank. It'll also pay you deductible up to $1,000. And then there's credit life and disability. Should you become ill or disabled, unable to go to work, all you need is a doctor's letter. They'll pay to make the payments on the vehicle until one or two things happen. Either the loan gets paid off or you go back to work. The life insurance will pay in the event of death, it will pay the estate and pay the title off and give the title to whoever you name beneficiary. And that's how you explain the very free column. And then you ask at the end of the, that first column, do you have any questions about what I just shared with you in the worry free option? And if the customer opens dialogue, open up dialogue with them and you're probably going to sell something. If they don't, just move on to what I consider the practical option. Second column, the practical option. The practical option, I, I name this the practical option no matter what it says because this is most likely what's going to take place during the course of ownership or during your lease. It has everything that the worry-free column has, but there's one advantage here and that's where you would bundle the product. You know how bundles work. You get more for less. This has a bundle which includes tire and wheel, the key replacement, the paintless dent removal, and windshield coverage. So you're saving a bit of money and these would be your payments. And then you move on to this third column. And if you're only using three columns, that would be just the core, the basic coverages. So this covers only the mechanical aspects of the vehicle and tire and wheel, all guaranteed asset protection. And this explains to them, these are the payments. And if you have four columns, then go to a core plus. So this includes a vehicle service contract, guaranteed asset protection, and key replacement, or tire and wheel, or whatever it is. And then at the end of that third column, or when you're done with all your columns, you look at the customer and you give them what I always refer to as the free note. You take that knee-jerk reaction on it by simply asking the customer, do you have any questions about what I just explained to you? And the customer may open up dialogue, go along with it. And if they say they don't have any questions, just simply ask for the business. Do you have any questions about what I just shared with you, Mr. Rissett Jones? They say no, just look right at them and say, okay, which option works best for you? And then dig your heels in and go after the clothes. And always drive it to the money. No matter what they said, had it before, never used it. I'll take my chances. I don't want it. Friend told me not to buy it. Friend's a mechanic. It doesn't matter what they say. Third Honda, I get it. These options aren't for everybody. I'll tell you what I have found. The only reason customers choose not to enroll, subscribe, or purchase these options is because of one reason and one reason only. They simply don't see enough value to spend the extra money. Isn't that really how you feel, Mr. And Mrs. Jones? And they're going to say, yeah, that's how I feel more often than not. And when they say that, you look at them and say, let's take money out of the equation. Hypothetically, let's move money out of the equation. If money weren't a concern, you go back to the worry-free option. Take a look at the worry-free option. What two, one or two options would you select if money weren't an issue with you or a concern? And now you're going to find out what's most relevant to them. So I hope you learned a lot by just giving a relevant, quick, easy presentation. Remember, all these products do one thing, very simply, pay for this or pay for that for a certain period of time or mileage. Use that presentation and I guarantee you have an opportunity to sell more when the customer says no because no will always mean not yet because you didn't give enough explanation and you'll have save room for more explanation solidifying things and evidence manual so on and so forth when you're done with your presentation if you like what you heard just go to www.prodprep.com or go to my website www.jerrygould.com until next time go get them